What's up, y'all? This your girl, Miss Maggie T with Atlanta Falcons Nation. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button so you won't miss another post from me. But it looks like we have released some players. Uh, running back Javion Hopkins. It's kind of surprising there for me. Um, I didn't expect that one. And linebacker Sharif Miller. Defensive tack of Aulis Sengupolu. Wide receiver Austin Tremell. And uh, offensive lineman Willie Wright in order to get us down to that 80 player limit that we had to get to by 4 p.m. of today. Looks like we've already made those decisions. Now, also, as you guys already know, that the backup quarterback position has to be filled due to the fact that quarterback A.J. McCarron turned, torn his ACL on Saturday in a preseason game against the Miami Dolphins. Um, so we had to sign Josh Rawson, who is a former first-round draft pick. Um, and he he was way from the um, San Francisco 49ers actually last week. So I guess it was just kind of fitting to find him that quick and got him right on the roster because, you know, he, he's going to be competing against Felipe Franks for that backup position. And I guess they still don't feel that Felipe Franks is prepared enough. Now, um, of course, with these options, Arthur Smith is still considering other options along with Rosen. And he stated, it doesn't mean if we add someone this week, doesn't mean that we may not add another person next week. He stated earlier, we'll continue to monitor that situation. Now, of course, we already know that Rawson will have less than a week to prepare for this Falcons final preseason game against the Cleveland Browns on Sunday. And of course, Smith understands there may be a learning curve to any player joining the team this late in the preseason, of course. And he says, I just think it's unfair to throw somebody out there and say, hey, here's the entire game plan. You better be able to operate. So depending on who we sign, you know, they'll be ready to go. Well, my concern is that backup position is honestly, we just haven't had a great history of that. And it's always just been where we had to depend on Matt Ryan. And if, it, and if anything where Matt Ryan goes down, I just don't have the confidence that we currently have anybody, even with this new signing. I, I really don't know much about him other than he's bounced around from team to team on practice squads, etc. He hasn't proved himself either. So you know, but maybe, you know, everybody's kind of hoping that he can come in and change um, his career around like uh, Smith did with Ryan Tannehill in Tennessee. But of course, he's not as, of course, accomplished like Tannehill, but maybe a new direction is a good, good thing for him. You never know. But the point is, we're still searching for a great backup quarterback. Well, that's all I got for you guys to say. Let me know what you think about that. Um, appreciate you guys. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Share this content out, and I appreciate you guys. All right, this is Atlanta Falcons Nation, and we are the nation. And I'm out. Peace.